having sung the praise of God, we turn to him now in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, although we are separated from one another as we listen to and watch this morning service, yet we are part of a great company of your people who all around the world today sing your praise with cheerful voice. We give you praise and thanks that there are so many reasons to be cheerful for you have placed so many joys in this life. We thank you for the love and joy of family life. We thank you for the joy and satisfaction found in a job well done. And we praise you for the rich beauty of the world around us. But over and above all these joys, we praise and thank you, Heavenly Father, that we can be cheerful for the gift of new life which we have found in Jesus, your Son. Lord Jesus, we praise you for opening the door of heaven to us by your death on the cross. We praise you that by your death we can know the joy of sins forgiven and the hope of heaven. And Lord Jesus, we praise you for pouring your love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, how right it is that we sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. And yet we find also in this life that there is so much which distresses us. Out there, in the world around us, sin takes so many forms. But in here, down in our hearts, sin also lurks and lingers. Have mercy on us. Forgive us, we pray, for the lack of prayer in our lives. For that independent spirit which persuades us we can manage on our own. These recent months have humbled us. They have taught us how little control we have over our own lives. Afresh, we have been learning that we need you. Oh, we need you. Every hour we need you. And so this morning, Lord Jesus, like one of your first disciples, we ask, Lord, teach us how to pray. And in your name, we offer our praises and prayers. Amen. This morning's reading is taken from Colossians chapter 1, beginning at verse 9. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we've not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will. Through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to the Father, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Amen including at the end of verse 12. And may God bless the reading of this truth. Hello, boys and girls. Gus Brown and his friends George and Archie one day had an argument. Well, it was more of a disagreement. It started when Gus said that he had been in a rush to school that morning. So during his prayers, he also ate his Cheerios. Oh, you shouldn't do that, said George. Do what, said, replied Gus. Eat your breakfast when you're praying, said George. Why not, said Gus. And that was when the argument started. To settle it, they, all, all three of them decided that they would ask their dads. Next day at school, Archie said, my dad said it's wrong. George said, my dad also said it's wrong. Well, said Gus, my dad said it was okay. How come? asked Archie. Well, you see, said Gus, it all depends on how you ask the question. You probably asked your dad, is it all right to eat my Cheerios? when I'm praying and your dad said no. But you see, I asked my dad, is it okay to pray when I'm eating my Cheerios? 
And of course, he said yes. All three smiled and ran off to play football before Mr Murdoch rang the bell for school to start. You see, boys and girls, you really can pray to God anytime, anywhere, although it's good to find somewhere quiet sometime during the day. And when you do pray, here is something to help you pray. We use our hands every day, don't we? So why not use them to help you pray, even when you're eating your Cheerios? Each finger stands for something. The thumb, the thumb is always the nearest finger to you. And so that should remind you to pray and say thank you for those who are the closest to you, your family, your friends. The second finger is the one that we use for pointing. And so it helps us to pray for those who guide us in our lives, our teachers, our Sunday Bible club leaders. The third finger is the tallest. And it should remind us to pray for very important people, the leaders in our country, our, our community, our church leaders. The fourth finger is all the seen as the weakest one. And so this reminds us to pray for people in trouble and in pain, the lonely, the sick, the refugee, the sad. And then there's the little finger, the smallest, the least important. And so this reminds us to pray for ourselves. So we have what you might call a handy prayer guide here. Try it and see, even the next time you're eating your Cheerios. Our song this morning reminds us of the importance of not just praying every day, but also reading our Bibles. But before we sing it, let us pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of prayer. And we thank you for this little simple prayer guide that we have even in our hand to remember and give thanks for so many people who mean so much in our lives. Help us to be praying boys and girls, knowing that when we talk to you, you hear us. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good week. Enjoy the first week of your holidays. And remember to wash your hands.